first game tomorrow, even after you know, a number of years in this league, is you still get that feeling before the, the start of every regular yeah, season? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, it's a blessing. It's a, it's a great opportunity uh, to get a chance to play this game to begin with. I'm going to my 15th season. I'm excited. Anything that stands out to you about Utah team from what you've seen on tape and what you guys will have to do at a really high level? Um, they're always really good. It's crazy. I was telling some of the guys I actually played against Utah the past three years in the playoffs. So I uh, know those guys very well. Uh, Quinn Snyder, great coach. He's got an extension. So uh, always a tough place to play in Utah, and especially the first year of the season. NBA issues a new fan code of conduct that will go in effect, so I guess, the first regular season game. Do you know much about that? Mm -hmm. Your thoughts about it? Basically, stronger rules to prevent some of the things that happen with players going into the seats and fights breaking out like that. Stricter rules for what fans can and can't do. Is that, is that a good thing? Uh, absolutely. Um, yeah, like I said, I've been in the league a long time. I've heard a lot of stuff. I mean, you can hear all different types of things, and at the end of the day, it's entertainment, but you got to understand, you know, us players, we're human too. You know, we got family and just like anybody else. So. You mentioned Utah as being a tough place to play. I mean, what, what challenges are you looking forward to seeing on where you guys are at in terms of the communication? Um, all these guys need to really play. Just the energy. You know, um, preseason is one thing, regular season is another. They got a lot of guys that's been together for a while. I think it'll be a great test for us. Because, um, uh, you know, we starting out in one of the toughest places to play in the whole league. You know what I mean? And it's, I'm sure they're going to be high energy because they got a lot of new guys and Mike Conley. Donovan, we got Jeff Green, they got a number of guys. It'll be good for us to see that intensity. You mentioned Mike Conley. What does he add to this team? Uh, man, uh, I know Mike very well. And Mike adds uh, veteran leadership and just a poise. You know what I mean? Donovan, you know, as great as he is, I think Mike is just, you know, has the ultimate confidence uh, and very unassuming and just knows how to play. Both he and Mitchell will shoot threes coming off Gobert screens. Just how do you deal with trying to get get back in front and, and contest those three pointers? Uh, you gotta compete. You gotta compete. Not only them guys. You got Joe Ingles. Uh, you got Royce, great defender. Um, and I think probably the, one of the, the biggest, the most underrated sign in the shoot is Bogdan. I mean, he's nice. He can play. You know what I mean? So uh, it'll be a fun game. Chris, and we got such a great group of guys, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, I'm just saying the truth. That doesn't necessarily win games, you know, but it makes it great to, you know, come to practice every day and guys, you know, trying to learn and compete. And I think that's the biggest thing that, um, you know, myself, uh, Gallo, and all that's going to bring is that, you know, that's good and well, but when it's time to go, we got to go. We got to compete. I think we gotta, we gotta move. What, what, what is their mentality like? You know, I think of a, a group of young guys, is, they might not have the same mentality as a group of veterans. So what do you get a sense of just a few weeks with those guys? Um, it all depends on who you're asking. Some people will say they like the young guys because uh, they don't really have any thought into it. They're just out there playing, they're having fun, they're not getting out of depth into it. So it all depends on who you're asking. I love our guys. Our guys, um, like I said, they make you excited to go to the gym every day. You know, all learning and building. And right now, when you don't know as much, you just play hard. That's a talent in itself. Well, we don't like mention the other day that you were doing a lot of work with three point guards on the court in practice. What's the next step for you guys besides just being on the court together to make that a better play? Uh, playing. You know what I mean? Playing. I mean, we've had practice. Uh, we had our preseason games, but real game situation would be good for us. I think it's building. I mean, you always say you want to win and build at the same time, but I think us playing in the game together will help us get a lot more fun. Chris, a lot of guys on this team last year came in the preseason talking about how they want to be the best team in the team. Uh, what do you see from this group in terms of what they're capable of? Man, we, we, we definitely had a potential, and I think uh, – you know, it's a new defense, I think, that we're playing this year that I don't think the team has played the past few years. So, like I said, we've been building, like adding layers day in and day out. But we got the guys. I mean, we got Steven, who, who's been amazing. We got Jaime, who I don't think knows how good he is right now. We got uh, uh, 
firm. We got unbelievable athleticism, man. As long as we continue to build together, we'll be fine. Anything else? Well, last time we asked you about China, you said that the points didn't really hook into it before you spoke. Just as the president of Players Union, what's your biggest concern for players in, in terms of that conflict? Um, I think for us as, as players, you know, we try to control what we can control. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, I think it's great that the season starts today and we're going to get back playing and playing for all our fans all around the country. Thank you, Chris. No problem.